Haven't we been saying throughout this course that light was an electromagnetic wave? How could an electromagnetic wave also be a particle? How can you shoot things with light? How can you play pool with light? Think about this. Consider radio waves, or waves sending information to your cell phone. We can't see or feel these waves, but we know that they are all around us. So how can they also be physical particles? We don't feel ourselves being bombarded by little pellets or something. How can something be a wave of energy and have physical properties simultaneously? So what is light? Is it a particle or a wave? Are you ready for the answer? It is both. It is both physical and non-physical. What? That's not even possible. Is it? To discover the answer, let's talk about the double slit experiment. This is the heart of quantum physics. This is the experiment that changed the world. This is the experiment that is going to blow your mind and forever change how you perceive reality. Get excited. If you haven't heard of this before, your world will never be the same. There is a board with two slits, and behind the board is a photographic plate that will detect light. We will shine light through the slits. If we close the slit on the right and only let the light go through the left slit, we see that the light is detected by the photographic plate on the left directly behind the opening. Nothing unordinary yet. This would agree with Einstein. Just as if we had shot BBs through the slit at the board, the BBs would line up behind the open slit. Sounds like particles to me. If we close the slit on the left and only let light go through the right side, we see that the light is detected by the photographic plate only on the right. Again, just as if the light was made of physical BBs. What would you expect if you opened both slits simultaneously? You would expect most of the light to be photographed directly behind the slits. But that is not what happens. When you open both slits, you get a pattern on the photographic plate. You get multiple alternating light and dark areas spreading across the entire plate. This is called an interference pattern. And this pattern is only made when two waves collide. The image is a picture of an actual wave interference pattern. How can particles produce a wave pattern? Let's do this. Let's keep both slits open, and let's decrease the intensity of light so only one photon goes through a slit every few seconds. Keep in mind, just one photon every few seconds. If you wait long enough, do you know what pattern you will see on the photographic plate? You will still see the wave interference pattern. What? How can a single photon which we know is a physical particle, go through a slit by itself and eventually produce a wave pattern like Now close the slit on the right side, so the single photon has to go through the left. Now the wave pattern disappears, and we go back to what we would expect. The photons line up behind the slit on the left, the same as if you were shooting BBs through the slit. If you are confused about this, don't worry. It makes no sense to the natural mind. How can something go from being a wave to being a particle, or from being a particle to being a wave? Waves can't be seen or felt. Particles are physical. But it gets even worse. Scientists wanted to know what was going on, so they used a detector. They kept both slits open, and they fired individual photons through the slits, and wanted to use the detector to see which slit it was going through. Something very strange happened. When they used the detector to see which slit the particles went through, you no longer got the wave interference pattern, but the photons lined up behind the slit it went through. But when they took away the detector, the interference pattern returned. What? When we were looking, the photons became real particles. But when we aren't looking, they are waves. 